Hello, welcome back to English with Archie. Nice to see you again. Today we're going to look at these words here and these words here. Now I know some of these can be a bit confusing. Sometimes you've probably found yourself in the situation thinking, should I use last, lastly, at last? Should I use first, first of all, firstly, at first? So today I'm going to go through all of these words and phrases, explain the differences, give you some examples, and so by the end of this lesson you will understand when to use each of these expressions in English. Thanks very much for joining me again, or if you're new, very nice to meet you. My name's Archie, let's get started. So we're going to start first with first, firstly, first of all, and at first. So first, first. So first can be an adjective or it can be an adverb. Some examples. The first plant I bought was this one, but since then I've bought a lot more. So it's an adjective here, the first plant, the very first one that I bought. The first DVD that I ever watched <laughs> was a film called Cruel Deep. It was when DVDs first came out in the, fir in the year 2000, I think. And um, there weren't really any films coming out at that moment because DVDs just were immediately released. And so then suddenly there were all of these rubbish films that were just put to DVD because obviously everyone was so excited about this new thing. So we bought some very random films and that was, that was one of them. Actually it was quite good, but it was so exciting for me to watch a DVD. So that was the first DVD I watched. The first job I ever had was selling Rosetta Stone language packs at the airport. Quite random, but that was the first job I had. I only did it for about three months, so. Now in those three examples, we're using first as an adjective. The first plant, the first DVD, or the first job. But we can also use it as an adverb. So for example, Tom came first in the swimming race. Sophie came second. I first met Sophie three years ago. So in both of these situations, it's an adverb. I first met Sophie. Tom came first in the race. Or, for example, when I came in from my run this morning, I first had a shower, then I brushed my teeth, then I had some juice and some breakfast. I first had, so again, it's an adverb here. I first had a shower. So when do we use these words, first of all, or firstly. Well, we usually use these when we're listing reasons or points in an argument. So normally when we're doing a presentation, a speech, or we're writing an essay, they're usually all in kind of formal situations. But it could also be in a discussion with friends if I'm listing some points or reasons for something. So for example, Archie, what do you think are the benefits of language learning? Well, first of all, I think that language learning is really good to develop your brain. And secondly, it keeps you very open-minded because you get to speak with people from different cultures. So here I'm listing some different reasons. So I can start off with first of all, but I could also start off with firstly. And I could also use first. I can use any of the three. So which one do you choose? It's really personal preference and style. It doesn't matter. So in this situation, when you're listing points or reasons, you can use any of the three. It's just whatever you prefer. So that brings me to our last phrase of our first group, which is at first. So when do we use at first? We use it when something was a certain way in the beginning, but then it changed. So for example, at first it was really unpleasant. That means that now it's not unpleasant. Or at first he was really unhappy. That means that now he's not unhappy. So a couple more proper examples. At first, Jack and I, we didn't like each other. But now we really get along. So when I say at first, we didn't like each other, you know that that was just at the beginning. But now the situation has changed. Actually, now we get along. Or at first, I didn't know how to use this computer, but then Jack showed me how to. Or, it was really difficult getting up early at first, but then I got used to it. So at the beginning it was difficult getting up early, but then it changed and I became used to it. So those are all of our first phrases, the first batch of phrases for you today. Okay, so let's continue with the words last, lastly, and at last. 
So first of all, last. Last can be an adjective or an adverb, just like first. Now, last has two major meanings. The first one is the previous thing. And the second one is the final thing in a series or a series of things. So, some examples. Now I'm drinking some tea. I'm drinking some peppermint tea. Don't worry, no caffeine. So I will not stay awake all night. I'm drinking some peppermint tea. And the last thing I drank was a beer. The last thing I drank was a beer. So that means before this coffee, what was the last thing I drank? The previous thing I drank. So the last thing I drank was a beer. The last film I watched was a film called Encounter. That's the last film I watched. So before now, the most previous film that I watched was called The Encounter. I haven't watched a film since now and since then. I watched that last Friday, so the previous Friday. So the last film I watched was a film called Encounter. Now in the next sentence, again as an adjective, I'm going to use it with the meaning of final. He missed the last bus. He missed the last bus. So that means he missed the last bus of the day. Quite often in England, lots of buses. Depends where you are. If you're in London, it's not a problem. But if you're in a little town or something, then the buses don't run during the night. So the buses usually stop at 10 o'clock in the evening or 11 o'clock or maybe 12 o'clock. And so maybe this person went to the pub, he went to a bar, he had a drink and he was getting home by the last bus, which ran at 11.30 p.m. But he got to the bus stop at 11.32 and he just missed the bus. So he missed the last bus, the last bus, the final bus. There was no other bus. So now he had to walk home or he had to call a friend to take him home or something. So in that situation, it means the final one. In the next sentence, it's down to interpretation. That means we don't know if it means previous or final. The last bus came at 10 a.m. The last bus came at 10 a.m. So depending on the situation, this could be the previous bus or it could be the final bus. How do we know? Well, we know based on the context. First of all, it's 10 a.m. So if there's a bus service running, usually they won't finish at 10 a.m. They'll usually finish later on in the evening. So it's probably not the final bus, the last bus, but it's probably just the previous one. But also, obviously, we can use telling people's emotions, how do people feel, all these sort of things. The way people say things might give us a kind of clue to what they really mean. But of course, even in English, there are certain times when we might not 100% understand if someone means one thing or if they mean another thing. And if you're in that situation, you just say, Sorry, do you mean the final bus? There's not another bus? Ooh, it's hot. I'm absolutely boiling. I turned up the heating so I was just so cold and now it is absolutely stifling. Stifling. Stifling is another great word, another way to say boiling. It's stifling. Absolutely stifled. <laughs> okay, probably tea isn't helping either. So, our next one is last as an adverb. So a few sentences. I last drank wine in 2019. I last drank wine in 2019. So here it's an adverb because we're joining it with a verb. I last drank. I last drank wine in 2019. And this here would mean the previous time that I drank wine, previous to now. So I meet my friend at the train station and I say, oh, I haven't seen you in such a long time. We last met in August and it's December now. Oh, crazy, we need to meet up more often. So here we're talking about the previous time we met. So we usually put last before the verb when we're talking about the previous time. I last drank wine in 2019. We last met in August. But if we want to say that we did something last among other people, we were the final person to do something, then we usually put last at the end of the sentence. So compare these two. The first one, I last drank wine in 2019. And the second one, we were at a wine tasting. Tom and Sophie tasted the wine first, and I tasted the wine last. So it's not I last tasted the wine, it's I tasted the wine last. So that suggests that I was the last person to taste the wine out of the group. 
So again, another example of that same thing. This morning, I got up, I had a shower, I ate some toast, and I had coffee last. So here I'm saying, the last thing I did was have coffee. I had coffee last. Or, I was recommended a few different things to watch. House of Gucci, the film, Dope Sick, a series, and Encounter, another film. I watched Encounter, then I watched Dope Sick, and I watched House of Gucci last. So it was the final thing that I watched. So when we put that last at the end, it's suggesting it's the last thing in a series of actions, or we were the last person to do something. Or last example, I'm going to explain to my students how to use the words first, at first, last, and at last. I'm going to explain first and at first, first, and I'm going to explain last and at last, last. <laughs> okay, now let's look at lastly. Now lastly is only an adverb. So last can be an adverb or an adjective. Lastly is just an adverb. Lastly is very similar to firstly. Firstly is just an adverb, and we usually use it to introduce the first point of a discussion or a debate or a presentation. And lastly, we usually use to introduce the final point of a discussion or a presentation. For example, we need bread, eggs, yoghurt, and lastly, we mustn't forget the coffee for dad. But as I say, it's often used in a kind of business situation or a discussion or a debate or presentation. For example, lastly, I would like to thank Jim for investing in our company. He's invested £10,000. Thank you, Jim. Or, let's pretend I've been talking to you for 10 minutes doing a speech about English and learning English. Then I say, lastly, I want to emphasise the fact that re-watching and re-listening to, to videos, to any kind of English content, is one of the most effective ways to learn English. Okay. Now that's not a made-up point, I, I do believe that that is one of the most effective things we can do as well. So, as you can see, lastly is used to introduce the final point in a discussion or presentation, usually, but it can also be used in a more informal situation, like in the first example. Now we have, at last. At last is a bit different. At last suggests a feeling of relief, or we've been feeling very impatient or annoyed because we've been having to wait a long time for something. At last is very similar to finally. So for example, at last the bus has come. Oh, we can go home. So we've been waiting a long time. At last, we're very relieved. But I can also put it at the end of the sentence too, it doesn't really matter. The bus has come at last. At last the bus has come. The bus has at last come. You can kind of move it around, but usually I would place it at the beginning or at the end. Or if you're really excited and you're waiting for a film, like I'm kind of excited for the new Matrix film, which is coming out very soon, because I was always a big fan of the first film. So I'm a little bit excited about that. So when it comes out, I'll probably say, oh, the film is out at last. At last the film is out. And afterwards, I might say, at last I've seen that film. I've been waiting for so long. Or if you're having a party or you're inviting some friends around and they're taking a long time, they're late. When they come, you might think, or you might say, at last you're here. Thank God, finally. So, at last is when we're feeling impatient, and then we feel a great sense of relief that something has happened, something that we've been expecting and waiting for. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope that cleared up any of the doubts you had. Of course, it will also always be useful for you just to listen to English being spoken as a way to keep practicing and keep absorbing the language, because a lot of the time that's what it's all about. Why don't you try and write me a sentence with at last? So thinking of that sense of relief that something has happened that you were feeling angry or tense about because you were waiting a long time. Or, and maybe, you could write me a sentence using at first about a situation where maybe you felt a certain way about something, but then the situation later on changed. Okay, so have a lovely day or afternoon.
or evening or night and I'll see you again soon. Bye.